there are a few applications installed in Windows that is available to the user. One such application is the calculator. We can access this by clicking on Start, All Programs, click on Accessories, then the calculator. This can be used with the mouse pointer as shown. or the keypad. We can also choose between different layouts. The default setting for the calculator is standard and basic. Another application that can be useful is Notepad. This can be accessed through the same path, Start All Programs, Accessories, then Notepad. In this example we have typed in the name Cando IT. Right now this information has been copied into RAM or random access memory and if you remember RAM is classified as temporary memory. Let's see the effect if we just exit from the application. So from file we we'll click on exit. A message will appear do you want to save changes to untitled. We shall choose don't save. As you may have guessed this file has now been deleted. To keep a copy of this file we need to save it to some permanent memory. This could be a floppy disk drive, hard drive, or even a CD or DVD-ROM drive. Let's try this again, but we shall save it to a permanent source. This time we shall keep a permanent copy by clicking on File, then Save As. Remember that all files have a file extension. Here we can see it has a .txt or more commonly known as a text file. Now we need to select a destination for our file. Remember the drawers? We shall click on the C drive found in the left hand pane. This could be thought of drawer C. The point here is if you save this information to one drive or draw, there is little point in looking in another location or draw. We shall create a new folder. and change this to My Documents. Then we press the Enter key. Now we should change to this folder by double clicking on it. By positioning the mouse pointer in the file name box it will highlight the name. Here we have changed this to MyDetails.txt. To continue we click on Save. This will close the window and you should have returned to the document. To close Notepad, we select Exit from File. Notice that this time there is no message do you want to save the changes. Let's check where the file is. We know that we saved it on the C drive, so we click on Start, then on the computer. Then double click on Local Drive C. Remember we created a new folder called My Documents, so we can double click on this. And here we should find the document. One point here, the extension does not appear. Also if you are creating a text document, adding the extension is optional. We shall see this in the next example. We can edit the file called My Details by closing all windows. Then start all programs, accessories, then notepad again. To open the file we will click on file, then open. Most applications and programs that you will use will open with the last save location. So here we should find the file. But so we are clear where the file is, we shall continue with the following. We shall click on the local drive C. Then double click on My Documents. And then double clicking on the file called My Details. And so here is the original file. 
To close this, we shall click on File, then Exit. Another program that is available to the user is Paint. But before we look at this, there is a very important area in almost all operating systems, and this is the clipboard. The clipboard is an area of temporary memory where information is stored. It can be almost anything, such as text, video, music, etc. It is used to transfer data from one application to another using copy, cut and paste, providing the data is compatible. In this following example, we shall use Paint to demonstrate this. But before we do, we shall copy something onto the clipboard, and that's a copy of the desktop. This technique is called a screenshot. To do this, we press the Print Screen key once. It may look as though nothing has happened, but the contents of the entire screen has been copied onto the clipboard. We shall see what we mean soon. To open Paint, we click on Start, or Programs, Accessories, then Paint. From Clipboard, click on Paste, then Paste again. You should have found that an image has appeared in Paint. Maximise this window and you will see it represents the desktop. To save this image, you will find an icon on the top toolbar that looks like a floppy disk. If we click on this, we shall have the opportunity to save. We want to save this in the same location we saved our document. So we click on the local disk C found in the left hand plane. Then double click on my documents. Before continuing, look at the location. It is local disk C my documents. Also notice that the save type has been set to PNG and has the file extension of PNG or commonly known as a ping file. In file name we could type in the desktop.png but since we are using an image program Windows will automatically add this extension. Just as in our last example when we save the text document we did not need to add the extension since it is optional. So why do we need to know about the extensions? It is sometimes desirable to create a document in one application or program so another can read it. An example is creating a text document but changing the extension from txt to html just before we save it so a web browser can read it. An example is creating a text document but changing the extension from txt to html just before we save it so a web browser can read it. Here we shall change the file name to desktop. We can click on save or just press the enter key. Close pane by clicking on the X found in the top right hand corner of this window. Now let's check my documents. So we open the computer Then double click on Local Drive C. To continue we double click on My Documents and here you will find both files. We shall use copy and paste commands to make a copy of My Details file and paste it to the desktop. To do this we first right click on My Details file and from the drop down menu click on Copy. Now right click on the desktop and from the drop down menu click on paste. We should now have found a copy of this file on the desktop. In some cases we may want to cut and paste. We can see the effects of this in this next example. Right click on the file called the desktop and from the drop down menu click on cut. Right click on the desktop and from the drop down menu click on paste. The difference being is with copy the original file remains intact and not altered in any way. With cut the original file after it was copied was deleted. 
You can also use these commands in an application. Let's create a new text document containing an address. This time we shall right click within the window called My Documents and from the drop down menu go to New. Now we shall click on Text Document. Notice how the document was created within this folder. We shall change the file name to My Address then press Enter. Double click on this file to open it. We type in an address. Save it by clicking on File, then Save. Next we need to select what we want to copy, so we need to highlight it. To do this, we shall position the mouse point at the beginning of the text, then hold down the left hand mouse button. Now we will drag the mouse cursor over the text we wish to copy. If done correctly, then the text will have become highlighted. Then the mouse button is released. From Edit, click on Copy. And now this information has been copied to the clipboard. We shall now close Notepad by clicking on File, then Exit. Now we shall paste this text to our other document called My Details. So we first need to open it. Double click on My Details found in My Documents folder. Now this is where the extension comes into play. Microsoft Windows has looked at the extension and discovered it is a text file. Then looks through all the programs that are compatible with a text document and finds Notepad. It then automatically launches Notepad then loads up our document called My Details. Now we shall place the address under the name by positioning the mouse cursor at the end of the text, then pressing the Enter key. From Edit, we select Paste. This should have caused the address to appear under the name. We shall save the text file by clicking on File, then Save. This completes the exercise, so we shall delete the two files on the desktop by highlighting them and pressing the Delete key. Repeat the same for the image, called the desktop. Also we need to delete the folder we created, so we shall open the computer. Highlight My Documents, then right click the mouse button and from the drop down menu, click on Delete. Just to tidy things up, we shall also empty the recital bin.